where should people start? So, you know, really the best place to start is to make sure that you have working smoke detectors throughout your home, again, at least on every level of your house, but, but more specifically in places like right outside sleeping areas and kitchens, garages, even an attic. Um, a lot of people don't realize that after about 10 years, uh, smoke alarm sensors uh, really don't work as well as they used to, so they may not be effective. So after 10 years, the rule is actually, um, you know, to replace those smoke detectors uh, and just put brand new ones in after 10 years. So, um, so a lot of technology has really come around in the last several years that, that really make, make it uh, quick and easy to help protect your home. Uh, so at Home Depot, our, our product experts have worked with Kitta to come up with some really great technology and innovation. For example, we have the Kitta um, Wireless Interconnected Smoke and Carbon Monoxide Detector. And I know that sounds like a mouthful, but first it's, it's a combination smoke and, and carbon monoxide, which is really important that you protect against fire and carbon monoxide. Uh, it's wireless and interconnected, and that means that um, all of these units, even though they're wireless, they talk to each other. So if one goes off in one part of your house, they alert all of the other ones in the home. So no matter where you are, you're going to hear that alert and you're going to hear it in the form of a voice rather than a, than a beep, which is a lot more effective in making sure people wake up and, and get out of the house. Um, it's got a 10 year battery sealed inside. You never have to worry about that. So after 10 years, you just replace the whole thing um, and you can even uh, connect it to your smartphone so you can get alerts on your phone if you're not at home. So all kinds of cool stuff, and this is available only at Home Depot. Right, what should people think about if their alarms are working still? So uh, the other thing to think about is, is just to make sure you replace the battery. This time of year, Fire Prevention Month, is a great time to think about these things and go ahead and just replace the battery no matter what. Uh, and when you do that, you want to, again, technology is your friend. So uh, 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 Duracell makes these quantum batteries, which are pretty cool because they have a 10-year uh, shelf life, which means you can buy a, a whole bunch of them, have them handy whenever you need them, and you can store them for up to 10 years and they'll still hold their charge. So uh, something to think about. Is there a technique people should use when using extinguishers? Oh, absolutely. So the first thing about extinguishers is to make sure you get the right extinguisher for the right area of your home. They're rated for different types of fires. So just read the labels and make sure you get one, for example, that's specific for your kitchen or a workshop or a general, uh, general areas in the home. And then you need to make sure you know how to use it. Just remember PASS, P-A-S-S. -S. Uh, the first thing you do, pull the trigger, right? Then you aim at the base of the fire, then you squeeze the trigger, then you sweep from side to side. So remember that. Pull the pin, aim, squeeze, and then sweep. Excellent. You know, two great tips. What is your third recommendation? Uh, if, if you need some more information, all you've got to do is come on into Home Depot or go online to homedepot.com slash fire safety.